guys so I just finished filming a video with my sister Wendy um, a lot of you do know her or some of you may not but she has a YouTube channel here and I know she has only a few videos but she's already starting to start filming a lot more videos does that make any sense she's already starting to She's starting to film a lot more videos. So we just finished filming a um, sister tag and she actually came over and spent the weekend with me. And I did go to um, the drugstore. I went to Walgreens and I asked a lot of you on Twitter, like, what are some of your favorite, like, must-haves from Walgreens? And um, a lot of you actually recommended, like, I think, I don't know maybe like five products from the stuff that I picked up from Walgreens. Um, I'm also really into feather extensions and I don't have like the actual ones which are like peacock feathers and they're really like sewn into the hair um, or sometimes even glued to your real hair but what I have here is just like a clip-on extension and this is kind of like a little tribalish so it's very trendy but I did have some earrings on in my sister tag video and they look like this. They, they look like, like, um, what are dream catchers? That's what it is. Kind of remind me of that. But they're really long and they're a little heavy, but once you put them on and you wear them for like five minutes, they don't feel heavy at all. So anyways, we're going to get right into the haul and uh, I'm in sweats today because it's actually already 8 o'clock on Sunday and tomorrow is my first day of speech class or public speaking. And um, that's Monday, and then I have pattern making on Tuesday. So, looking forward to my class for tomorrow because lately I have been do I have I have had to speak in front of crowds, and I really want to sharpen up my skills. So, anyways, um, I guess I'll start off with something that I'm really obsessed with, and it actually, it's been like five days since I bought this stuff, so some of it I've already tried, and. Um, Today I just took off, took today I just took off these sticker nails and these are the Sally Hansen Salon Effect Real Nail Polish Strips which are really awesome. These are the cheetah print and I got so many compliments on these. Like so many. I just took them off today and um, I have every single, pa uh, not every single one because I don't have the solid colors but I have every single um, pattern that they have. And this one is one of my favorites, and the cheetah print, which is the one that I have double stuff. And, oh my god, this is the glitter. And they're actually, like like I said, it, they're real nail polish strips. And when they go on, you have to have clean nails, and they last forever. They last for, like, like like a whole week, a week and a half, looking nice and fresh. And you have to take them off with real nail polish. Or, or, it's not fake. With nail polish remover because you can't just peel it off because it's not really a sticker but anyways I love them so they are a little expensive they're ten dollars each but you get a lot of them but I don't think you don't get enough for two applications so get these I got those I'm obsessed with them I got so many compliments like you guys should check them out and I also got some nail polish what I realized is that I got a lot of nail products and I don't know why, because I was actually aiming to buy more makeup. But um, I got some Sinful Nail Polish colors, and I really like this little palette that I chose. But um, some of them had this little flower, which is kind of like a ring you can put on. And I got this one in Unicorn, which is a really pretty kind of matte, not matte, but um, I'm sorry, pastel yellow. And I got this one here, which is in Soulmate which is a nice little pinkish one. This is the vibrant, like, purple dream on. It's a coral, and this one is called Ooh La La. So here you have it. Got those nail polish and nail polishes, and I also got one from Essie. Um, it's just a black one. I don't think I have a black nail polish, and this one is called Licorice. But I love Essie. It's one of my favorite nail polish brands. And I had to pick up a black one. But you know what? Um, Walgreens and CVS are starting or actually do, do carry um, 
what do you call it, Essie nail polishes, but they have so many, so many colors, but they're all like in the same family. They're all like some nude pinks and stuff, and I have like so many pinks, so I'm not really trying to collect Essie nail polishes, but they do come out with like the new collections, but they usually sell out really fast. So I only picked up one Essie nail polish, because the other one that caught my attention, I already bought it. So anyways, bought that. And then I got some of these um, manicure sticks by Kiss. And you get 10 of them. And they're just like, you know, to push back the cuticle. You can do stuff with these. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard. I'm sure you have like water marbling, which is you. It's a really cool technique. I want to do a video on it. And I've tried it a few times and it's so much fun to do. But you need something with like... Like something like this, like a manicure stick that has like a pointy end um, because, you know, you need to do the designs in the water and the nail polish. So I bought those and then I also bought this for my nails because um, they're, they're healthy, like they're really strong, but they're not as healthy as they can be. Even though my nails have been growing really fast lately and I think it's because I've been taking my multivitamin because I've been losing and I've been drinking uh, protein shakes because I started to work out like this new crazy workout routine. And um, I think that's how I lost my baby weight actually. But anyways... Um, I've been losing my hair like bananas. Like, seriously, when I got pregnant, everybody's saying, you're going to grow so much beautiful, luscious hair, and then when the baby turns four months, you're going to start losing all of your hair. So my son is five and a half months already, and my hair is, like, thin, like, thinning out like crazy. It's super thin, and every time I brush my hair, like, so much hair falls. Going back to this, um, this is a complete care. This is a four-in-one treatment. Ridge Filling Base Coat, Bio Straightener, Growth Treatment, and a Mega Gloss Top Coat. So it's a 4-in-1. It's by Sally Hansen, and I love Sally Hansen. I really do. So I'm sure this is going to work out because I have never been disappointed by anything they come out with. So, got that. And then nail products. I think that's all the nail stuff. So, um, another Sally Hansen product that I got is the... Um, this is the Perfect Arch Brow Kit, and this is what it is. I didn't want to take it out and use it yet because, um, like, I wanted to show you guys the packaging, but you pretty much get, what I actually wanted it for was these angle, these, um, scissors here, and they're angled. You can see the tip, and this thing here, I, I'm sure it's, I'm going to use it, like, a few times and then throw it out because... It has um, just a comb. It has also a little blade underneath the brush. You just take out the brush and there's the blade in there to kind of sh shape this part. But um, yeah. Um, so this is the Kiss Nail Artist Limited Edition uh, nail polishes with a little brush like like a really thin brush so you can do designs and I got this they have many different colors but I really like these the yellow the pink and the green and they come with little stickers in the back so you can put them they're actually stencils and you can do designs on your nails so this is really fun especially during the summertime so you can um like your big nail like your thumb is your thumb your big toe uh, <laughs> so you can do like crazy designs on your toe and stuff that looks really cute um and then I also got um oh, foundation so on my last video I kind of show you the application just for a little bit um, and this stuff oh my god I think it's my favorite drugstore foundation as of right now I love it and it's supposed it has sunblock in it because I got professional microdermabrasion and you need to wear sunscreen so I wear this it has SPF 20 and I think it's perfect I still stay away from the Sun for the next couple of days um, just because they did feel like a whole layer of my face but the color that I am, if you use MAC makeup, I am an NC40. Um, sometimes I go all the way up to like 44 or 43, NC44, whatever. Anyways, this is a fresh, fresh beige if you are an NC40 by MAC. So, 70 fresh beige matches me perfectly. And then I got this, which I'm so excited. I've tried it before, and I'm all about having, like, really nice legs, because, um, I don't know, I like wearing a lot of shorts and skirts and stuff, and I came across this so long ago, I don't even remember, and I wanted to try it out again. And this is the Airbrush Legs. 
this is a can by Sally Hansen. Again, I told you guys I love Sally Hansen. Um, and this is water resistant, which is really good because it's also going to help that it doesn't smear on your clothes and it stays looking nice and fresh, especially when it gets really hot and you start sweating. If you sit on like couches that are leather and you start sweating, this is not going to rub off, which is really good. And this is the tan glow, which is the color that I got. And oh my God, I've tried this. Like this stuff works so, so good. Like it makes your legs look super, like super airbrushed like Photoshop CS5 airbrushed. Like they look really that good. Actually the new and enhanced coverage. Ooh, I'm excited to try this one. Leg makeup for medium to tan skin tones. So perfect for me since I am a little dark. Um, so that's that. And then I got this here which is the Clean and Clear Deep Cleaning Astrogen. This has salicylic acid acne medication in it and I don't have problems with acne. But um, I do get blackheads here and there, blackheads, pimples here and there, or sits. And I wanted something because I, after I wash my face, every time I take some kind of estrogen to my face or witch hazel, like I always find residue of makeup. So for me, like having a toner is like super important. And it also helps, some toners help like balance out your pH level and it helps close down your pores. And it's like really good for a lot of stuff. So to me, this is the first time that I'm trying this. And this is maybe a little hard because it kind of stings a little. Especially, I think it's because I just got the microdermabrasion and my skin is like so, like so like... I don't know, so sensitive right now. And I don't have sensitive skin, but I think that's why this really burned when I put it on my face. But if you guys have a favorite, let me know because I do love Clean and Clear, but maybe not this one for acne. Not for me. So that's that. And then I picked up this one only because I did thought that these were a little expensive. These are by CoverGirl, and these are the Smoky Shadow Blast. And I thought they were a little expensive to buy like all the colors at once or even just my favorite colors at once. I think they were up to $10 or $8 and I thought it was a little bit too much since I've never tried it and I've tried it and it looks really really good on. So I only got this one and I got the safest color which is like the nude, uh, the brown, you know, neutral. Step one goes all over your lid. It's so creamy. Step two is this one here, which is angled. kind of looks like a lipstick. It's angled like this. And then you just... Oh, what? Oh, my God. I was raving about this. And it just snapped off. Well, you can still use that. Well, that sucks. It just snapped off. Well, anyways, you put this on your crease like that. And I just take my fingers and blend it out. And it does not crease. But I think it doesn't crease because I use a... Um, eyeshadow base and I use Urban Decay just primer potion for that. So that's that and then I also got the Milani Glitzy Eyes and this is just a blue eyeliner and especially for the summertime I'm really into adding a pop of color underneath. Um, my sister used the green one of these and it looks so good on her. Milani has some really good um, sticks for that. So I got this blue one, blue number five and really creamy to use, really easy and creamy to use. And then I also got these cleansing wipes. Um, I told you guys I love the e.l.f. ones and I really, really do because they're so affordable and I could buy, like, I could stock up on, like, 100 of those. Well, maybe not that much, but I could stock up on, like, maybe 10 and, like, have them everywhere around the house when I don't want to use makeup. I just wipe it off. But these are actually pretty good. I also like the number two, or number two, number seven um, by Boots. I think and these are actually another good alternative even though these sting your eyes like if you try to remove eye makeup with this but I usually just do overall like face not eyes but if you try and put this on your eyes it's gonna sting and I've tried that so these are just by Olay wet cleansing cloths for sensitive skin so that's that and my little camera is telling me I have four minutes of space to record so um that's pretty much it. Um, the top that I'm wearing today is actually from Love Culture, uh, which is the website. It's the website. It's also an online store. Online store. It's a store at the mall, and um, I really like it because it has a lot of trendy stuff. And I never thought I would like it because it was just way too trendy. But there's actually some pieces in there that you can make them a little classic but anyways it's just a nice little top it's loose and I just have my hair down pushed up a little bit 
And yeah, if you guys, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the little haul. And don't forget to check out my website, dulcecandy.com, if you want to see like outfit post, how I style this top, um, everything else, and like where I get my stuff. Um, also, Twitter, if you guys want to ask me questions. And of course, my official Facebook page at DulceCan87 and the link for that's going to be down below and also for my sister Wendy I know a lot of you were asking me about Wendy um, she did open up a new page and like I told you guys I will put the link to her new channel down below and everything else so I will talk to you guys later and thank you so much for watching I love you bye